Hello everyone. Let us see section 15 on factor group computations and symbol groups. So we all know that when n is a normal subgroup of G, G over n denotes the factor group of G by n. And in this factor group, the binary operation is defined by a n into b n is equal to a b n where a b are elements of capital G. And the identity element in this factor group is e n which we also denote by n. Now we know that there is a homomorphism gamma from G to G over n which is defined by gamma of G is equal to G n and the kernel of this homomorphism is capital N. Now let us compute the factor group Z6 over cyclic subgroup generated by the element 3. We know that Z6 contains the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the cyclic subgroup generated by the element 3 contains the elements 0 and 3. Since Z6 is cyclic, it is abelian and therefore this subgroup is a normal subgroup of Z6. So such a factor group is well defined and if you construct it, the factor group containing all cosets of the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 in Z6. We can see that 0, 3 forms a, a coset and if you consider a coset containing 1 then you can see that 1 and 4 are the only two elements in that and if you consider a coset containing the element 2 then 2 and 5 are the only elements in it and since there are no elements left in G which does not belong to any coset. You can see that there are only three cosets that is only three elements in the factor group Z6 over the cyclic subgroup generated by 3. So it must be isomorphic to a group containing only three elements which is isomorphic to Z3. So you can also find a mapping from this factor group to the elements of Z3 that is 0, 1 and 2. Now let us consider another problem with the same group that is let us compute uh, uh, let us start with Z6 that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and uh, let us compute the factor group Z6 over the cyclic subgroup generated by the element 2. So we know that the first coset contains the elements 0, 2 and 4 and the second coset containing an element 1 is 1 plus cyclic subgroup generated by 2 which contains the elements 1, 3 and 5. Since there are no elements left in G which does not belong to any of the cosets, you can see that there are only two cosets. That is, you can find that this factor group is isomorphic to Z2 and hence you can find a mapping from this factor group to Z2. So we conclude that this factor group is isomorphic to a group containing two elements. Next we consider a problem Z2 over Z0 which you can see that is a special case of a group over its trivial subgroup containing the identity element which is isomorphic to G. So here Z is the group of all integers and tradition and since Z0 contains only one element all cosets contain exactly one element that is a coset containing our arbitrary element M contains only that element M. So it is possible to find an isomorphism from this factor group to set of integers and you can see that Z over Z0 is isomorphic to Z. In general, it is possible to find that G over the trivial subgroup is isomorphic to G. So thus we have computed Z over Z0 and we proved that it is isomorphic to Z. Next we see another problem that is compute R over NR where N is a positive integer. But before proceeding, let us have a look at NR. That is NR is the set of all NA where A is an element of R. We know that it is a subset of R. But my question is, is it equal to R? So in order to show that, you have to prove the reverse inequality. So choose any real number R from capital R. Then you can choose A to be R over N so that you get 
n into r over n gives you r which means that r is a subset of nr thus we have nr and r are the same which means the problem is to compute r over r now you can see that this is a special case of g over g and you can see that this is isomorphic to the trivial group e so in order to proceed we need g the proof of g over g is isomorphic to e so let us start with a, a an arbitrary group g so you can see that there can be uh, any number of elements in g and uh, when you consider the collection of all cosets of g in g the first coset contains all the elements of g which means that there is only one coset in the collection of all cosets in g over g which means that g over g has only one element and it is isomorphic to a trivial group e so we have completed our proof and we have computed r over nr and you can see that it is isomorphic to e so we have seen two special cases of computation of factor groups when the normal subgroup under consideration is either the trivial subgroup e or you can see that g over e is isomorphic to g or the normal subgroup under consideration is g itself where you can see that g over g is isomorphic to e we now continue our study on factor groups g over n and other possible normal subgroups between e and capital g we can see that even when we know that a subgroup has subgroup n has order half the order of the uh, group g it is possible to see that n is normal and hence compute the corresponding factor group g over n we now prove this result that is every subgroup capital h containing just half the elements of a finite group g must be a normal subgroup so you have a group subgroup capital h and it contains half the elements of a group capital g now let us choose an element a from capital h then we already know that a h and h a are the same and is equal to h if a is not an element in uh, capital h then we have a h is a different coset and since a h and h must have the same number of elements a h contains half the elements of capital g which means that it contains all the elements in g that are not in h if you compute h a then you will be getting the same set that is all elements in g that are not in capital h which means that a h and h a are the same and hence if a is an element in g you always get a h is equal to h a that means that h is a normal subgroup of capital g now we are ready to consider the question of whether sn over an exists we know that sn is the group of all permutations on n elements and what is capital n capital n is the group of all even permutations on n elements now clearly this an is a subset of sn in fact it is the subgroup of sn and it contains half the elements of the group sn by the previous result we know that an is a normal subgroup of sn so we can see that sn over an exists now since uh, an contains half the elements you have sn over an contains just two elements so you can see that it is isomorphic to the group containing two elements that is z2 now let us draw the group table of sn over an you can see that if you choose sigma to be an odd permutation sigma an contains all odd permutations and uh, there are only two cosets in sn over an so you can see that an corresponds to 0 in z2 and sigma an corresponds to 1 in z2 and you can obtain the group table of sn over an now the corresponds between the elements of sn over an and the elements of z2 gives you all possible computations within the elements of sn over an and you can see that uh, uh, the factor group this factor group reflects the multiplicative properties of all the permutations in sn we will continue our study on computations of factor groups of the form g over n in the next video uh, in particular when g is a direct product thank you